Family, here is something that I need you to remember. God is not moved by your emotions. God isn't even necessarily moved by your tears. He's only moved by one thing, your faith. We often go before God and beg that he would hear us, beg that he would answer our prayers. Instead, we need to believe that he hears us. We need to believe that because we've asked of him, that he will answer. Prayer is not a way to grab God's attention because we've already got it. God instructed us to come to his throne boldly, in faith, believing that he will do what he says he will do and trust that he hears us. Trust that he's listening. Stop listening to the enemy. Stop listening to your doubt, the fearful thoughts, to your circumstances that feel overwhelming, to emotions. Remember that God said he will not let any situation or circumstance overtake you. He has already provided you a way of escape. You are an overcomer, more than a conqueror. Do you know what more than a conqueror is? God is not going to reject you because you're his child. We often think that if we just muster up some sort of belief, if we can just think about it hard enough, then he's listening. Faith isn't manifesting when you come in prayer. Make sure that you enter prayer in faith, confidently knowing that you are his child. Hebrews 4, 16 says, let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. In Mark 9, verse 23, Jesus said, if you can believe all things, not some, all things, not a few, all things are possible to him who believes. You ask, how do I believe? Get in the word and allow it to renew your mind. Romans chapter 10, verse seven says, so then faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So I challenge you family, always go confidently and boldly to the throne of our father standing in faith. What areas have you had issues with believing in? Share it in the comments below. Iron sharpens iron and we need to help and encourage each other in our walks with the Lord.